Welcome to the living room of the requests. Hello there. Welcome. We are dressed in vintage today because we're going to go to a number of different decades. Singing my life with his words. Keep it Anyway, so here we go. Today we've got the 1970s later on and a really interesting variation of music. We're starting in the 50s though, aren't we? We're starting in the 50s for Jane. This is Scarlet Ribbons, which was written by Evelyn Danzig and she, uh, or Evelyn, if she's North American. And she wrote it in 15 minutes, apparently. It's yeah. a sentimental favorite. Matt's found some interesting sounds to put. I'm gonna play it. a Celeste. Oh. This sounded very Christmassy. Very Christmassy. Well, Thank you, it. Jane. Has it got a Christmas overtone, that one? I think it must do. I mean, if she's going to go out and search the streets in the night to try and find them. Oh, yeah, definitely. Children back then, they didn't ask for that much. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Just a couple of little red ribbons. And that's... Uh, needs are modest. Here we go. Yeah, it's like... It's like Beauty and the Beast. Just bring me back a rose, you know, in the middle of winter, whatever it is. We um, are now doing... This is a song ri written by one? Ewan McCall when he was having an affair. Oh, goodness. He's got all the dirt. Well, it's the truth. It's part of the, part of the composition. Right, which show we're going to use this? I uh, love yeah. this sheet music cover. This is sure absolutely magnificent. One. This... Now, I wish I had hair, you know, that, that, that made a positive statement like this. I mean, this is, this is, of course, I mean, you know, Roberta that, Flack. Yeah. And um, I am going to sing it very differently because I, I, not only do I not attain to the hair, I do not attain to, you know, her way of singing. I, I just, well, hey, I'm me. It's one of two Roberta Flack 
numbers recording. this time. Indeed. Yes, this this yeah. in this concert, you're going to get two that she made famous. So if you're a fan of hers, you might want to send me hate mail or or you're just going to, you know, it's it's there are many different ways that something can be done. And this one's for Suzanne. Here this is go. for Suzanne. Thank you. Bit more. Matt calls that style of banjo well, that, claw that, hammer. I would if I was playing on a claw hammer banjo, but I'm playing on a, a long, a long scale low Irish tenor he banjo. He gets it more complicated, but he but said it's because it, it's it's he's he's not using a plectrum today at all, which must be a first in living room requests. And now it's time for a song for John, a lovely uh, bi color. Uh, copy that Patricia's got here. For those listening on the podcast, I suggest you go to youtube.com forward slash Patricia, Patricia Hammond songs and check that out. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I wanted to change my name song. when I was younger, when I was a teenager, and I, I, I wrote this whole list and I showed it to someone and said, what about these names for a stage name? And they said, they all sound like prostitutes from the 1930s. <laughs> and was so, one of them Ramona? No, no, <laughs> I don't know why I was saying that. Oh, because you stumbled over my name and I thought, okay. oh... I should change it. That's good. Um, right. Yes, Matt has also somebody who's also got the same name as him. Who's I do. another who's also a musician. Yeah, he frequently gets help. email 
Addressed to this guy. Very frequently. Ramona, 1927. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. John's requested nine, so we're going to sort of probably intersperse them throughout. We're going to do this in French as well as English. high seem to kiss the sky someone is out yonder on the hills waiting patiently waiting just for me Ramona I hear the mission bells above Ramona they're ringing out a song of love I press you caress you and bless that you taught me to care to always remember the rambling rose you wore in your hair Ramona when day is done you'll hear me call Ramona we'll meet beside the waterfall Dedicated to Dolores Del Rio, star of the photo play Ramona. Fantastic, uh, fantastic, yeah, film. But uh, that was probably slower than uh, a lot of people know that version. Uh, sorry, that song. But it, it's nice to change it up, which is what we're going to do for our final song. Final song, change um, it up again. From what, 1974? This is. Oh yes, Ramona was for John. This is for. This is for Suzanne, killing me softly with his song. Um, this. Uh, 
This is actually for Teresa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Teresa, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Here we go. Uh, uh, this I'm... Killing Me Softly with this song. Um, yeah, now, the words, it says that this is by Norman Gimbel and Charles Fox. They did a bit of a dirty thing, these two men, these songwriters. Um, they were co-writing um, this young singer-songwriter, Laurie Lieberman, her album, and um, she wrote some verses. She went to a Don McLean concert um, and uh, she wrote these words about how he made her feel. Um, anyway, and so the, she showed it to these guys and, and they made this song and they didn't credit her at all. Um, anyway. A lot of emotion in today's concert, folks. Yeah, it's a lot of emotion. A lot of emotions. Now, this, you want me to do some yep. triangle work you just on put this. That on that. I'm just going to put this on this. Not much triangle work, I might tell you. Oh, look what he's brought out. He's go. brought out a big cello. A big brown cello, shiny. Not to be conf confused with the double bass. No, indeed. All right, here we have Many it. Do. Killing me softly, open brackets, with his song, close brackets. <laughs> nice to be precise. Strumming my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his words, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly with his song, telling my whole life with his words, killing me softly with his song. Peace. 
dark little song that one. Well, I was trying to reflect that on the old cello. That's what I meant. Yes, apparently Don McLean, when he was told about having inspired this song, he was very flattered indeed. Wow. He was he was very gracious about it and said he was most honoured. Well, do tune in to next time's Living Room Request for more songs and stories because that's that's what it's all about, isn't it? That's right. We'll and have a little bit of instrumentation here and there. That's excellent. Do subscribe. And yes, yeah, so this was, a, this was a Roberta Flack double bill, but, you know, you wouldn't know it to listen to the way I do them. Um, it was a Patricia Hammond and Matt Redman quadruple bill. See you later. See you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Bye.